Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work and welcome to our Intel Nook setup. This is for the D54250WYKH. It's got a bunch of things there, the Nook, the manual, we've got the power plug on the right hand side. Yeah, keep this manual handy just in case, just in case. Now on the left hand side, they've got a Wi-Fi module Intel 7260AC, so it's an AC uh, dual band as well as Bluetooth module. We've got our RAM. Make sure it is one. It is 1.35 volts. This is actually eight gigs of RAM there from Kingston. And we've got an MSAT here, 240 megabytes. And of course, our toolbox with some tools: three screwdrivers. We have a uh, regular size Phillips head and uh, small, and of course, just a flat screwdriver. So let's take a look at our Intel Nook. It's got two USB 3.0 in the front. It's got a headphone jack there, headphone and mic. All together, power is on the top with an LED indicator, vents on the side, lock button there, more vents. And at the back, you've got more vents, power port, uh, mini display port, mini HDMI. I don't know why. Uh, large HDMI would be better. Ethernet as well as two USB 3.0 ports. So you've got four USB 3.0. And and that's it for what you have for Intel Nook. Now, the reason why I picked this this Nook here, this is the uh, Wilson Canyon. So this is the latest one. This is an uh, Core i5 Nook. It's also got basically two drive bays. It's got a, the MSAT and it's got a, an extra bay for 2.5 inch either um, SSD or a hard drive will fit into that. So I'm taking the screws off here and and the one thing you notice about this nook is that uh, it's easy to take out the screws but you need that flathead screwdriver of flip head just to basically wedge it so you can actually lift it up it, for some reason it just doesn't come all the way out just a design issue uh, i have with it but um uh, once you have that uh, you can take it out and make sure all screws are actually taken out properly from this device so that you can actually uh, go ahead and lift that up all together now um, some of you wonder how long did this take me uh, it basically took me the length of whatever this video is to actually set it up uh, actually 8 minutes and 20 seconds and then I had to install Windows on there but I'm having issues with that screw for some reason um, yeah, there we go. All right, so we have it out. So what you're seeing there is the drive bay. That allows you to actually slide in your um, hard drive. So I'm going to slide in second hard drive. I did it later on, uh, so which is why you can't see in this video. But you slide in a hard drive there, and then you can have it as a secondary drive for your drive bay, which is pretty cool. So it gives you more storage options. So you flip that, lift it around, and it reveals a couple of things here. You've got your, um, your RAM slots there. Uh, one, two, make sure it's 1.35 volts. Just pointing that out there for you so you can take a look at it there. And then you've also got your two uh, PCI slots. The bottom slot there, that's for your Wi Fi module. Oh, um, so that's where my 7260 uh, AC Wi Fi module on the top, that's where my uh, MSAT goes. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's very basic and simple. This is, you know, something you can easily do as an individual to set it up and, and throw your stuff there. So I'm going to actually put my uh, memory in first. I'm going to slide the bottom memory and just, you know, place it in there. Lock. Um, and then, you know, slide the second one in there and lock. I remember the first time I did an Intel Nook video, I, did, uh, I didn't put the memory in properly. Everyone basically... Uh, chastised me uh, for that. I just wasn't, I didn't pay close attention. So I apologize. So this time I made sure memory's in there. That's the HyperX Fury um, uh, solid memory. Um, sorry, that's not the HyperX Fury. That's just HyperX memory. I apologize. Um, so to put in your uh, Wi Fi module, you must take a look at the screw. There are screws actually. Um, placed into the little mounts that are there. So you must take out that screw so you can actually lock in your PCI um, slot for the um, wireless card and then screw it down so you make sure you hold it into place. Uh, and uh, the screws are really tiny. So if you like me you have big fingers, you gotta be careful. Uh, make sure you don't drop the screws or lose it. Even if it drops in there in, that, in the little chassis, you can always flip it around and then screw, screw things back on. So you wanna slide that in, PCI right there. Place it on top, right, and then get your little screw. Um, I should have gotten mag magnetized screwdrivers would be much easier, but it's a process to just tiny place the screw right in there so you can actually get it to fit properly um, um, well. So you can just screw it in.
make sure that's tight in there because you just have to be careful that you don't actually you know lose that screw so that's what i'm going through here um, but again it's a very simple process like it would take me a short amount of time if i didn't have large fingers so to speak um so i can actually just screw that down so that's down that's in there so you have your wi-fi module in and it's tight make sure it's tightly tight in place put down there we go so that's it there it's screwed in all together so you want to do that for the wi-fi module and then you're going to basically do the same thing by sliding um uh, that on top the MSAT with this another screw on top and making sure that that slides in properly and then screwing it down altogether. So that's the Kingston MSAT 240 uh, gigabytes. Gonna slide that on the top part of the PCI and then screw it down. Now sometimes you have wires that might interfere with how you play stuff. You just need to move them away, make sure it's in place. Take your screw again, tiny screws. So just be careful, you know, you don't lose the screws or drop them on the floor. Uh, and, you know, that's why you need to have a clean workspace so you can actually place things down. Uh, screw it in and uh, that should, you should be all set. Those are all the things you need for your Nook. So we've got memory, Wi-Fi module, uh, MSAT in there. We're going to close this up. And, and then if you want to, you can always add in an extra hard drive here and you're good to go which is very nice to see that they included in this model uh, this is the only model the d54250 w y k h i wish intel went with easier um, letterings or numbers for it uh this is the only model that actually has the extra uh, hard drive space built in so you can actually have you know instead of you, previously with nooks you just had as much as your msac could take and then you use the usb hard drive um you know to you know have extra storage but now you can actually do that much easier with having two hard drives in there so you know theoretically you can have a terabyte of storage uh, from just a regular hard drive or you could have say maybe up to about 512 uh uh, gigabytes from an SSD, whichever options you have. But then again, of course, you just after that, you just need to screw it down, make sure everything's in place. Uh, again, like I said, wires can be an issue um, just when you're trying to screw things and put things in, in place. So had to take care of some wires there, screw a few things in, and um, should be good to go there with that. Uh, there we go. And uh, that's it. That's pretty much the setup process for your intel nook again took me about eight minutes and 20 seconds and it could be faster if i i chose to i you know i had small fingers uh but let's go ahead install windows and then check out uh the system that we just built so it's here it's connected on my samsung hu 8000 curve tv and you can see i have windows 8 running with the nook there uh, you can see it's got the Intel Core i5 4250U uh, processor, clocked at 1.3, max 1.9, 8 gigs of RAM, 64 bit operating system. And that's it. And that's the Nook right over there in the corner. If you guys can't see, it's that small little thing powering it. So, you know, if you have any questions or any comments about this, let me know. Uh, if you've built a Nook, you have a Nook, let me know your thoughts about it. What do you think about having an Intel Nook instead of saying a full desktop, so to speak? Now, this is not for gaming. This is just at least a good de uh, desktop uh, home replacement or even a business replacement. But give me your thoughts about the Nook. Um, and if you have any questions about this video, let me know. So, guys, don't forget to like this video. Uh, favorite this video and share this video and also do subscribe to the channel on the top right hand corner of your screen uh, but this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment